Let's see how a digital single lens reflex or SLR camera works. Digital SLR cameras capture images exactly as seen through the viewfinder. When the shutter is released, light entering through the lens is directed to a large high resolution CMOS image sensor the same size as a frame of 35 mm film. A primary color filter is arranged over the image sensor so that each individual pixel corresponds with one of the colors red, green or blue. The sensor generates an electric signal representing the brightness of each color. The image data is then converted into digital signals at high speed by reading each pixel line via two channels. The red, green and blue color signals are processed with speed and precision by Canon's high performance digital image processor, which reproduces images with natural coloration and records them on a memory card. Canon, a world leader in imaging technologies, has brought about a new era in photography with the development of high performance lenses, high speed imaging engines, and high resolution CMOS sensors that take the place of film in digital single lens reflex cameras. The CMOS sensor has outstanding expressive capabilities, including high resolution, rich tonality, natural color reproduction, and delicate blurring performance. Each of the sensor's pixels has a built-in circuit and a photodiode that changes the incoming light into an electrical charge. If each photodiode is large, it can store more electrical charge and thereby achieve a richer range of tones while allowing the sensor to fully reproduce the light details. Even when there is a huge difference between light and dark regions. By optimizing production technologies, refining the peripheral circuitry, and retaining the large size photodiode, Canon succeeded in increasing the number of pixels. Also, by increasing the diameter of the micro lens that gathers the light, we have improved the efficiency of light gathering and increased the unit sensitivity. Initially, noise from the signal reading component was a major problem with CMOS sensors. Canon solved this problem by first reading and storing the noise volume of an image. Then the charge generated by the next image was read, and the noise identified by comparing the difference between the two images was cancelled. CMOS sensors must be manufactured in a clean room that is completely free of dust and dirt. If, for example, metal atoms are mixed in with the CMOS sensor, images will not be completely dark, even in the total absence of light. At Canon, we have improved manufacturing equipment, production processes, and cleaning technologies to achieve ultra-high sensitivity, even under long exposure to light. CMOS sensors, the culmination of Canon's quest for perfection in photography, will continue to evolve as a key device in digital cameras in the future.